this is tutorial number 22 login validation based on uses first one we created based on login number if login number is correct then it will go to the supply table for example here i have created two tables you can see login table suppose i am giving username and password it is a supplier it will go and open the supplier form fmb and it will open suppose kali dali is correct it will go and open the product fmx not fmb fmx it will open the fmx here so two different how to open the runtime two different based on the login that we have already finished in tutorial number 18 but tutorial number 22 the same user is there for example here also same user type is same i am not opening the user type is same value instead of two different value number one point number two within a same form no need to open the another form i am not opening the any form within a form i want it for example the supplier is nokia how many nokia phone is available nokia different model is available that i want to see otherwise here in the applicant within the same layout or canvas i want to check otherwise the same teacher here teacher name is girija whatever it may be i want to check how many students are registered how many students are available in the teacher called girija and teacher called induja but whenever i i username and password i'll give induja i will get only induja student not girija student that is very clear i won't get girija and yusa now you can go and see what is in my database actually suppose in my database the subject table you can go and get in my subject table how many things are there i have two students for girija only one student for induja that want i want to do it that is my actual idea so the same form same building i am not creating i want to get only the list this application we can use any type the supplier i have the supplier for different type of item one supplier the supplying more product then what i want to do it then i will get more product at a same nokia different different models x6 maybe n e72 like that so i want to get lot of values from the nokia itself so that time i will use this type of application sir so what exactly i am doing this is my subject table data this is my layout editor design this is my subject table this is my login table login one table here my control block this control block i use for checking my login validation that's why i am using the control block once i give for example here i am giving girija my what is my username girija girtu suppose i give girija and girtu here it is uh, username and password is same then it will give my user number girija here based on this girija it will come my subject details my value will come here that coding i already wrote here you already know the coding of login validation what is i am doing here validation is equal to validation executory message or the sort here only one small change i am doing here i am going the block i am not opening i am going the block login one the user number i am inserting user name instead of user number i am using the user name the user name is nothing but my user type whatever it may be my user name i am giving in the thing so i am making false here how it will work why i am making the property false property false starting but i will show you in the run time then you can understand here previous um, dynamic list item we created the what we created the pop up login the same be here also for user number i am creating user number as a record group i am i am not using list item i am creating the procedure called record group in the record group i am selecting the username the login from the login one i am correcting the values here yeah, that's what i am doing here login one i am selecting user number i am inserting the user number and populate populate the list values this what i am doing but it is not a list item i am just doing the list item the regular the user number i am creating here this control i am creating the procedure where i calling this procedure this procedure i am calling here when new form instance you see the property um, plsql editor i am calling the pop up login this way i am doing the login here there is no here you can see there is no list item here i am not creating list item i am populate i am getting the values this is my layout editor this this there i will check it here it will come how it will work in the long time now you see control block i created the control block for checking the validation here i wrote the plsql whatever it may be your 
validation invalid user or invalid it will check the password is correct it will give invalid username invalid post name like that same how login works the same way it will work here i am creating login one here very important thing is this is proper relationship master detail relationship should be there so the subject table related with which table login one table how it is related you can see in your paper that the subject table like the subject table can you see here the subject table how what are the table the subject table have the user number this user number is a primary key in your login one so it is a foreign key in the subject table that's why i want to create the most and detailed relationship most and detailed relationship we go and check the most and related table. login dot user number is equal to subject dot user number so foreign it should be there then only it will work otherwise uh, that's a reason i am writing in the uh, when button press login and all plsql editor you go and see it i am using the login table then only i am getting login one login one that way that way only i am getting the values and subject item i am getting the values here i am not creating list item that i am very clear so this is my login one i am creating this is my form this is my uh, login procedures you can see the login procedures whatever i shown earlier the same way i created the login procedures here so step one what is step one step one create a data block that is control block sorry control block this control block is is my layout editor this is my control block i created two text item one button this button i wrote for login validation once that validation is correct it will come here in the login to that is step number two and step number three i create the data block i use the master table relationship step number four step four what i did step four i created the procedure here that procedure i am calling here that's what I did it. Now you see in the runtime how it will work in the runtime here. Here runtime is there. So now I will give Girija. What is a password for Girija also I will see. Girija Gir2 is there. So now I will go and check whether it is working properly. So I will give here Girija and my password is nothing but Gir2. This is what my password. I will check the password. So login successfully. Yes. I am giving login. Now I will give no then i will say this username this is automatically not once this password and login is perfect this two text item and button is not visible that's what i wrote in my forms you can see here that's what i given here so once it is successful what i do visible property fall visible property falls everything should be false there is not needed because login check-in is over here now i want to check whether this girija login the informations are coming perfectly is why it is giving i am not executing automatically it's coming so how many values are i have i have only two values one value is salim another value is ali can you go and check how many values here you can say salim and ali for girija not sagra so how it is executing automatically i wrote in the login one new block instance you can see pl sql editor execute query that's why it is coming so that's why i am writing here the execute query now we will see what about the induja also how it is working for induja another login also now again i am refreshing you can see here again i am doing the refresh things so we will check for the next one now i will do induja induja my username is Sinduja, sorry, Sinduja and Sindhu93 is my password. So I will do it here. Yes, Sinduja is coming. So I will give no values. So now you can see the values. Girija is coming. Now I can go and check the values. So now I will execute. Now I will execute the Sinduja. Now I will check the Sinduja. Sinduja, I will do and Sindhu93. This is my password. Okay. Here I can check the values of Sinduja. No, I can say Jagra. You can see Jagra say Girija value is not coming. Jagra Girija value is not coming. Only Jagra value is coming for the Sinduja value. Can you go and see what is Sinduja? Thirteen Jagra marks is seventy. That's what I am getting it here. So I am not getting the value here. This is called the part 2 part user type 2 using the login validation